Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. Today we're looking at one of the brand new castle walls, one of the new plot exteriors. We briefly looked at this on my Twitch stream the other night, but I thought we'd do a fantastic video for this as well. And uh, this could be created using your grand company's workshop with a free company. Or of course you can buy this on the market board as well. This is of course, uh, if we swap over to it, the brand new uh, Sukiya Zukuri Mansion Walls. Now, of course, the small and medium plots will look very similar to this. Um, so we, I thought we'd just look at the large. So instantly, as you can see, we've got this beautiful front gated area, although I've placed the gate there, not to get mistaken with uh, if that comes with the house or not. Uh, we do have these wonderful banners at the top but one of the reasons i wanted to start off in the night time first is so you can get an idea of how many lanterns are actually on the outside of this house so we've got these fixed light uh, lanterns and we've also got these kind of like um you know the paper lantern type ones as well so if we go onto these walls just briefly and we go into g pose we can get a better view of what this house looks like so this is the idea that it's designed to be like an onsen if you've ever you know seen in anime or you know maybe you're lucky enough to have been uh, been to japan yourself in which case i'm incredibly jealous of you um then you would know all about these um they are like a japanese spa basically you go there and it's a wellness thing and you have like a pool basically like a spa area and there's also a seating area and you have good food and you have good relaxation it's a cleansing of of the mind and the body basically and this is basically what it is um if i don't get stuck against things so as you can see we've got um leafs like this vegetation on the outside instead of conventional walls with bamboo you'll see this better in daylight in a moment i just wanted to give you the demonstration obviously these planters are things that i've placed there but the real like important things are getting uh, the, you know used to the lighting here as well it looks absolutely fantastic at night doesn't it with these almost banners with the meteor logo on them and you get that on the rear of the archway as well uh, this is actually a fixed chair uh, seated area which is part of the house this isn't a housing item i was very happy about this because the more stuff they incorporate the less i have to deal with the housing slot limitations of course you can sit on this it is a proper seat and there is what appears to be matcha tea down there or at least that's what i'm going to imagine that is like i say we'll see it better in the daylight in a moment when the sun comes up but we have um these beautiful seats here as well you can sit on all of these places as you can see that's a seated area and we've got some more tea we've got all these beautiful lit areas it's just really well lit and it opens up the idea of you using all the sides of your house that's one of the things i like about this so you're using the right side of your house and at the back of the house at least on the mansion size plot you'll see that there is even room for what would be a rear entrance or an exit which is very cool isn't it it makes me wish that this was a functional space because uh, it would be really nice to have an, an extra entrance to your house but it is just for show. These big circular windows, uh, you'll see those within when we have a look on the inside as well, the changes. Uh, and you've also got these sort of barred with wood, very well lit uh, windows here as well. On the uh, other side of the house, probably the best feature ever is the actual spa itself, which comes with lanterns, of course. This beautiful big pool which is gorgeous it isn't big enough for you to water float though because you're not submerged so just bear that in mind and of course if you are a smaller character and you sit in here you're gonna be basically sitting underwater so bear that in mind you can however sit on the edges because these are seated areas as well which is really nice and uh, of course we have full collision detection and things like the the rock as well it's a really nice space we've got little buckets over here you know and stools and things wash wash basin things and of course if we were allowed to we'd have a sliding door entrance on the right side of the house as well or left side depending on how you look at it it is such a cool space i have tried to place items on top of here as well uh, which is one of the questions people might have can you place stuff on it 
The answer is no. You could probably use glitches, placement glitches, to place stuff wherever you want anyway. But um, it is just a nice functional space, which of course means that I've attempted to open up the, the side of my house, uh, the FC house here, so we can actually utilize that space, um, which gives me more room. So inevitably what they've done and, uh, is they've given me more housing placement slots by providing us with stuff um, already here. I think it's fantastic, especially the lights and things. But yeah, a brief look then inside and then we'll look uh, outside in the daytime as well. I know that nighttime isn't exactly the best way to look at things. But just as a basic example, if you're used to the Shiragani castle walls, basically it's the same uh, differences here. You have the stained glass almost uh, light that lets in light when it's daytime. And we have the um, Realm Reborn or Meteor logo banner over the front of a fairly cool looking door. There's also these circular windows which are part of the fixture as well. Those aren't decoration. So that's pretty much all you need to know. The thing I will say is if you go upstairs, um, much like the Shiragana Castle walls, there is actually a balcony access thing that doesn't work. Uh, even though on the exterior, um, clearly on the exterior, you cannot access the balcony at all. All right, here we are in a fixed G pose in the daylight. It's a bit cloudy, but it's the best I could do. And that's what the house looks like in day. It is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I really like what they've done with this. Um, yeah, I don't really have any complaints at all. Uh, the only complaint I will have is that I personally like tall houses, which is why I went for the Shiragana Castle walls. Uh, it's basically, <clears throat> you're paying the price of half of the height of the house, but uh, have the added bonus of a spa and like onsen seating area and stuff. It's just really nice, isn't it? I think most people will agree. Anyway, this was a brief look at this uh, wonderful item, of course, uh, company workshops. You want to go and craft that. That's how you do that. Or of course on the market board um i think it cost me 12 million gil to get this so they are coming down in price but of course if you want to get this you're going to be paying premium unless you make it yourself much love enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you all next time with more 6.3 goodness <laughs>